Now, polling this week seems to show that Democrats are back in the hunt for the 2024 election, but is this Kamala momentum really sustainable? I'm going to dissect all of this now with CT Group Managing Director Larry Grossman. Larry, thanks so much for coming on here. Big poll that's getting a lot of attention over the last few days is the latest uh, Bloomberg Morning Consult po poll, which shows Kamala Harris eating into Trump's swing state lead and edging ahead even by one point. Is this accurate? Is this just a bounce? Is it sustainable? Tell us what you reckon. I think you've asked a big question in a, uh, there. The, um, obviously, we're seeing the first of the polls since she's gotten out of the gate with a very, very good start. Um, and the initial polling, that morning consult poll uh, done with Bloomberg, really has uh, gotten a lot of attention because it shows she's pulled even with Trump and pulled ahead in some places. and. You know, the big question now is, uh, can she carry the momentum through the next 95 days to Election Day? Obviously, with things like the convention in between. Uh, and then people get down to work with as, as we get into the fall. Yeah. Now, we've also had a national head-to-head -head context. In the head-to-head -head sort of polling, it shows Trump leading still by just 1.3 percent, 47.5 to 46.2 that margin has halved since Biden withdrew from the race. It's now very much in the margin of error. Will this continue, this trend continue as they uh, introduce Kamala Harris to the American people? Or will we see a repeat, do you think, of her performance in 2020 when the more people saw of her, the less they seemed to like her in that primary contest? I think they saw a, a very different Kamala Harris uh, four years ago, and it was very, it's, it seems like an awful long time ago. She's also running for in a very different race right now. She is the nominee for the Democratic Party for President of the United States. It's a very, very different position than when she was running as one of many in the, in the 2020 primaries. So my sense is both her appeal uh, and the campaign that she's going to run are going to be very different from what everyone's comparing her to uh, four years ago. Yeah, and Larry, is the Trump campaign making a mistake here, by the way, that they're getting focused on issues like uh, Kamala Harris's racial heritage and things like this? Because it seems like ever since they've made the shift on the Democrat side, the Trump side seems to have lost a bit of focus, and they aren't talking about the issues that they're really strong on, you know, border, economy, crime, that sort of thing. I th I th I've been surprised at um, how caught off guard they seem to have been uh, with regard to their messaging. And we talked a little bit about that last time you and I spoke about messaging over the next few months. Um, look, I think the, the, the big issue is how do they return to something that they're strong on and that the Democrats are weak on or perceived to be weak amongst their base. And again, let's not forget, we're really talking about needing to swing a very small percentage of people in a very small number of states here in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so with that small constituency that you're talking about that really decides this, do you sense as somebody who's been around a lot of campaigns, who's been doing this for decades, years, you know, that they will be moved by people saying, and the Trump campaign and others reports saying, well, Kamala Harris used to be very far to the left here, and now she's moved to the right. Which Harris do you trust? Is there a sense of a trustworthiness issue that might be uh, emerging with Kamala Harris as people see that she was much looser on border, on crime at certain points, even though she was a prosecutor, that sort of thing? I, I think they've got to find an issue like that. Obviously, they, they zeroed in on on... President Biden's age and and competency, and therefore his ability to run the country and the, the perception of, of the country being weak, I think they need to find an issue like you've just described, um, whether that's, whether her, you know, trustworthiness is the ultimate issue, um, that's to be determined. But I don't think they've gotten to that point yet where uh, they've gotten any traction on issues because certainly uh, going after what her race may or may not be, what mm. her, you know, career path has been and or privileged or not isn't getting any traction. In fact, it seems to be motivating uh, would be Harris voters and probably turning off some people who are undecided um, or maybe more traditional Republicans, if you will, um, mm. from supporting Trump.
And finally, just qu quickly, what do you think about the issue of abortion and women's, um, I guess, sovereignty over their own bodies and so on, that the Democrats are making a very big issue about, Kamala Harris is making a big issue about, how much of that is going to uh, play into the next uh, few months? Because it seems to be they're gearing up a big fight around that. Well, first of all, every time women's health issues, reproductive rights issues have been on the ballot, it favors Democrats, whether that's in was in Ohio a couple of years ago, Michigan a couple of years ago, it always works well for Democrats. Uh, and I think we'll see the same thing over the next 90 something days. I think one of, uh, one of the strengths uh, Vice President Harris is, brings to the campaign is this is an issue she can speak about and she can speak about it um, more directly than, uh, than President Biden was able to, who always seemed uncomfortable with the issue of abortion as a, as a devout Catholic. And so she comes to this with her own convictions, with her own beliefs, with her own um, voice. And I mm. think that voice is resonating with people and has, has since the Roe versus Wade was overturned two years ago. Larry Grossman, it's going to be a fascinating three months or so ahead. Thank you so much for your time, Director of CT Group. Really appreciate it.